In our last video, we looked at all the basic task features in MeisterTask. This time, we're going to go over some advanced functionality that will bring your task management to the next level. First, we're going to open Project Properties and navigate to the Power Ups tab because some of the features we'll use first need to be enabled. These are Time Tracking, Timeline and Scheduling, and Task Relationships. Let's start with Time Tracking. You can track the time you spend working on a task by clicking on the Start button right here. Another click stops the timer again. If I click on the Track Time, I can see a list of all the people who have tracked time on this task. In this case, it's just me, of course. If I click on myself, I can see the total time I've tracked, as well as the individual time slips I've created. Again, in this case, there's just one. Time slips can be edited after the fact. To do this, I click on the existing time slip and then simply change the time and or date in the dialog. The second feature we enabled was scheduling. This allows me to set a start and end date for the task, both of which are independent of the due date. Once a task is scheduled, it will appear on the project's timeline, where I can modify the start and end dates further if I want. The third feature we enabled was Relations. This is a great way to mark tasks as related to another task, to indicate that they are a duplicate, or to show that they are blocking or being blocked by another task. Let's mark this task as being blocked by another task. The block is now not only listed inside the task dialog, but also visible when I'm in project view. The stop sign will remain on the task until the blocking task is completed. At this point, the task owner will also get a notification to inform them that they can now start working on their previously blocked task. All right, now let's have a look at all the things you can do with checklists, because it goes far beyond what you see here. First of all, if you've created the perfect checklist and know that you'll want to follow the same steps in other tasks, you can save this checklist. To do this, hover over the checklist's name, then click on it and select Save. Give the checklist a name and then click Confirm. All of your saved checklists can be found in the Project Properties, where you can also edit them, delete them, or create new checklists to use in your project. Let's open a task that doesn't yet have a checklist. When I hover over the checklist area, I can load the list I just saved into this task. But that's not all. MeisterTask Pro and business users can add multiple checklists to a task, so I'm going to create a second checklist here as well. You can also hide checklists and reorder them as needed. OK, next, we're going to create some custom fields. And for this, we're heading back to the Project Properties dialog. There are three different kinds of fields I can define. Text fields, number fields, and drop-down lists. To create a text field, just put in the title of the field and, if you want, a short description to help your colleagues fill out the field correctly. Same for the number field. All you need is a title and perhaps a description. For the drop-down list, you'll have to provide a title and define the individual items in the list. All the fields we've created are now automatically displayed in all tasks inside this project. This is a great way to ensure that project members provide all the necessary information in tasks and that this information can be easily found by everyone else. Lastly, let's take a look at the features hiding in the task menu which you can open by clicking on the ellipses here in the top right corner. From here, you can move the task into another project and or section. You can duplicate the task, which will create a perfect copy, and insert it in the same section, right below your original task. And you can turn it into a recurring task, which of course allows you to choose how often the task should appear. Lastly, if you notice that a task is getting too big and too complex, for instance because too many people need to be involved, you can also turn the task into a project. The project will have the same name the task did, and each checklist item will be turned into a task.